Hi, I'm Terry Crown, Heavy Duty Powertrain. Uh, I don't represent Cummings in any way. Uh, I am the owner of Heavy Duty Powertrain. And I put up these videos for many, many years now. And I'm going to start a new series here of uh, uh, really trying to get right to it a little better on the... Uh, Let's, let's talk about injectors electronically. Um, unfortunately, what we have found from the beginning of L10, M11, and N14 electronic engines that uh, the ECM and the harness and the injector, they have no protection about uh, shorting out and uh, really hurting your ECM. So unfortunately, I mean, this may sound kind of bad for you guys, but if you get a check engine light and um, it'll tell you number one, two, three, four, five, or six injector is uh, got a problem, uh, it's probably done a lot of damage and the best thing to do at that point is to uh, uh, you can pull the injector that it's talking about the wire off it but even the ECM doesn't like that because then it's going into uh, uh, no ground or no connection and uh, that can start heating up the ECM inside the board where the uh, that particular injector driver is. Now unfortunately you've got some issues here that uh, you have no protection against in the ECM. One is all the injectors or the injector harness. Now I know a lot of, a lot of uh, technical people in the field think that it, uh, they just don't believe that uh, injector solenoid shorting out or going bad or the harness would uh, burn up the ECM. Well, what normally happens is any one of your injectors go bad it heats up uh, the board inside the ECM and you've got six drivers on this one particular board. So if you can imagine, you got all your drivers along here and you got a fuel solenoid circuit on this board. Okay. So the fuel solenoid circuit, when it shorts out or starts going bad, it starts creating heat on this board. And your six drivers, the injector drivers, when they got problems, they create a lot of heat on the board. Well, guess what's under the back side of the board? It is your fuel solenoid circuit and your memory chip that holds your memory which uh, when it goes bad causes the 111 code and like select pluses and then there is a timing chip injector timing chip so what normally happens is the fuel solenoid goes out and that circuit pretty much uh, can do enough damage to affect your memory chip and your timing chip. The injectors, it's almost a sure thing. You get an injector that goes out, uh, you probably can't do too much to catch it, but I always say the worst scenario would be unplug it if you see number one, two, three, or four going out. But the uh, memory chip and the injector timing chip are both under this board and unfortunately they really get hot and they get so hot that they actually melt the solder 
and um, both those chips have 50 plus pins and all it takes is one of those pins to get so hot that it loosens up and then it becomes heat related so which you know 111 code and 343 code uh, I'm talking about select pluses right now the selects have the same problem different codes uh, I'm going to do that on a different video but uh, you know that is the bad news but it's the good news because you know if that happens you really need send the ECM right to us call me at 810-653-6300 or my cell phone 727-787-6495 and let's get that ECM in and find out what happened to it and then uh, definitely got to get on top of the injector that caused that and and we always suggest putting a new fuel solenoid on uh, and look at that injector harness unfortunately the select started in 1991 or two with the L10 electronic and the select pluses are 96 on to 2003 or 4 whenever they quit making the M11 and 14 select pluses so uh, I have seen a jump in harnesses for you guys as engines I just seen a new part number come up on an L10 harness that I was selling for $300 now is $1200 so, you know, I'm about ready to buy, you know, 50 of every harness at the, at the great price right now. But, you know, I've always said that all the harnesses on your engine are a great price. You know, and it'll just eat you alive if you had to pay somebody labor-wise to do it. And there are options if you really get in a bind and you can't get the harness, but... Uh, you know, Cummins makes good products, and uh, they're always updating them. You know, I'm a Cummins man by heart, you know. But uh, like everything else, things are going up. So if you're going to keep the truck, you got a great truck, L10, M11, N14, engine, select or select plus. But you got to get on top of this electronics. And the longer you wait, the worse it's going to get. So... Hopingly, you buy an ECM from us. I do supply all the the uh, harnesses and sensors, and you can know just what you need there. And uh, again, I'm not a Cummins dealer um, because of the volume I do. I'm set up to buy with several different sources and got the best price, so I can pass it on to you and keep these videos coming. <laughs> so. Just uh, give me a call at 810-653-6300 or 727-787-6495. We used to be down in Florida, moved up to Michigan. And uh, our newest website is www.n14parts.com. And uh, you're going to see more parts and everything else available there. So good luck, and uh, I hope this video helps you guys. And uh, just mention my name, uh, Terry, or even uh, TC, then I'll relate it to this video. And uh, I'll do you right. We'll get that truck back going, and you definitely got a good, good motor there to work with. Good luck out there. Bye.